Hello guys, welcome back to the FE exam review series where we solve FE problems that's going to help you guys pass your FE exam. In today's video, we're going to do another electricity and magnetism section problem, specifically under part C, AC circuit analysis. So let's dive in. Oh yeah, before we get started, I just want to share with you guys that we are almost done with the mechanical afternoon course. So I just finished last week filming all the problems and videos and concepts. And right now, my team uh, is reviewing all those videos and then editing them and making sure everything looks good. And we're going to start uploading them this week. OK, so if you are interested in a course, make sure that you guys check out our courses. It really helps a lot of students pass the FE exam. It is lifetime access. And and we share a lot of content, a lot of concepts, and a lot of problems, just like we do here in our channel. I walk you through every single step, but we do a lot of problems. So make sure that you guys check it out. It's really going to help you guys pass your FE exam. Now, once we are done with the course, we are going to increase the price. So make sure that you guys get it before we the sale ends. Okay. Now, if you are taking our FE other disciplines and you're interested in that course, well, stay tuned because we're going to actually launch that soon as well. So make sure to sign up here for any future updates. So here we are giving a circuit and we want to determine the equivalent capacitor. So this is similar to the previous example that we did, guys, where we had to determine the equivalent resistance. The only difference is that here we have capacitors. OK, so you're going to have to go to the reference manual and grab the equations for the capacitors when they are in series and then in parallel. And you're going to have to apply those equations to determine the equivalent capacitor. OK, so why don't you guys go ahead and pause this video give it a try. Make sure that you guys are attempting these problems on your own and then come back to check your solution okay so i'll see you guys in a little bit now to determine the equivalent capacitor what we're going to do here is go to the reference manual and take a look at the equation so the equations for the capacitors when they are in parallel and in series are provided to us here so this is the electrical and computer engineering section now note guys here that these equations are the opposite for resistors, right? So if you guys remember when resistors are in series, we actually add them up, right? We do R1 plus R2 and so on, which is the same thing as when capacitors are in parallel. And then when the equation for capacitors in series is the same as when the resistors are in parallel. So they're just opposites of each other, okay? So just keep that in mind. Now, for the capacitors in series, so we have this equation here, and this equation you can use it for when you have more than two capacitors are in series okay but if you have just two what i recommend using is just this equation here the resistors equation for when they are in parallel okay because i prefer this equation especially when i just have two capacitors or two resistors it's just because it's faster okay it's faster and if you do enough problems you actually just remember these equations. And so on the FE exam, you might not even have to look at the reference handbook because you're just going to remember the equation. OK, and so, yeah, so you can use this equation instead of R, you just replace it with C. OK, and I'll show you guys what I mean by that in a minute and we'll apply that equation or you can use this equation. I mean, it doesn't matter. You will still get the, the same answer. OK, it's just a matter of a preference. OK. So that's for the capacitors and then notes guys here this is not part of the problem but i just want to show you guys here we have the equations for inductors okay notes guys the inductors are actually the same as uh, resistors okay so the equations for inductors in parallel the same thing as when resistors are in parallel and then inductors in series is the same thing as when we have resistors in series okay so just keep that in mind okay so with that in mind let's go ahead and write these equations down and then we can start solving this problem now, the next thing we're going to do here, guys, is we're going to try to determine which of these capacitors are in series and which are in parallel. OK, and when you are giving a circuit and you have to determine the equivalent, always try to start from here. OK, just like I mentioned in the previous example that we uh, did here in our channel. OK, and so what you want to do here is you start here and you look at which capacitors are in series and which are in parallel. You find the equivalent equivalent for those two capacitors, then you redraw the the circuit with that new equivalent capacitor then you see which again are in parallel in series then you find the equivalent again and you do that until you reach the end and then you have like two capacitors okay by doing this you avoid making a mistake okay so let's go ahead and start with these two capacitors okay so here we have 20 and 60 these are in series 
okay so what we're going to do is we're going to find the equivalent of these two capacitors okay and we're going to use this equation here that we discussed when we were looking at the reference manual okay so here we have c1 so that's going to be 60 and then we're going to multiply it by c2 which is going to be 20 okay it doesn't matter which one is c1 and c2 guys by the way but we're just going to do c1 uh, 60 times 20 and we're going to divide it by 60 plus 20 okay and now if you guys do that you're going to get 15. now what we're going to do next here guys is we're going to redraw this okay with the new equivalent capacitor okay so let's go ahead and do that together so here we're going to have the 50 okay and then here we're going to have the 35 and you guys can do this during the exam too because it doesn't really take that much time to do this and also you're going to you know avoid making mistakes like i mentioned earlier okay and this way it's going to also help you visualize which capacitors are in series and which are in parallel so it's very helpful to do this so now this capacitor we said is equal to 15 okay now you guys can clearly see that 35 and 15 are in parallel so now we're going to go ahead and use this equation to solve for the new equivalent capacitor so we're going to do 35 plus 15 okay and that's going to give us 50 okay now we can draw this again and replace this by 50 so let's go ahead and do that okay and then also just something to mention guys so currently my my team are working on putting all these fe problems that we're sharing with you guys in our youtube channel in a pdf and what we're going to do is we're going to try to put the answer just the multiple choice and then that way you guys can solve the problem and then if you get the wrong answer you can always come back and then check the solution so we will leave the link for the youtube video as well okay so if you guys are interested in that pdf file you can sign up here and then we'll send it to your email once it's ready so it's going to have a lot of great fe problems and again it's just going to have all the fe problems that we're sharing here in our youtube channel and then also with some motivational things along with it and some tips that will help you guys along this fe journey okay so make sure that you guys sign up so that you can get it it's going to be very very good the pdf file okay so now let's go ahead and simplify this again so we're going to have 50 here and then we're going to replace these two capacitors with this 50 that we calculated here okay and now as you guys can see now these two capacitors are in series okay and so that's going to give us the c equivalent so now to determine the c equivalent let me go ahead and do it in a different color so we're going to do c equivalent it's going to be equal to 50 times 50 we're going to use this equation because they are in series okay and we're going to divide it by 50 plus 50 okay and now if you guys do that you're going to get let me see here 25 okay so now if we take a look at the multiple choice the answer is going to be b so this is how we solve these type of problems so again guys as i mentioned it's very important that you guys start from here okay and then look at the capacitors resistors inductors depends on the question and then see which are in parallel which are in series we draw it and then do the same thing again and you keep doing that until you reach the end and then you find the equivalent okay so it's very important that you guys follow these steps and make sure that you guys add these steps to your cheat sheet so that way you guys don't f forget it on your fe exam and then also make sure that you guys download our cheat sheet here that has very important equations and concepts that's going to help you guys with your fe preparation and and also make sure that you guys like and subscribe for this video if you guys enjoyed it and then please make sure that you guys share our channel with your friends it really helps the channel out immensely and this way we can also keep creating more content and more fe problems and keep helping you guys pass your fe exam i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you are enjoying our fe problems that we share with you guys here and you feel like you're understanding more and you feel more prepared for your fe exam make sure that you guys check out our courses because we cover a lot more concepts and problems and it has helped a lot of students pass the fe exam and also it is lifetime access so once you purchase it it is yours and then you can take as much time as you need to study and prepare for the fe exam so make sure that you guys check it out and also before you go make sure to check out this playlist here which has a lot of fe problems that's going to help you also with your fe preparation now thank you guys for watching i hope you have a great productive week and i will see you guys on the next video à la prochaine oh yeah,